the production value of games has really increased over the last several years. Partly it's because the video game market is now so big. It's now $100 billion large. And the game developers, competing for your benefit, competing for your business, continues to make games better and better all the time. The production value of games has gone up. But recently, in the last several years, a second factor has really turbocharged it. And that second factor is the fact that all of the game platforms in the world, game consoles and PCs, are now based on one unified architecture, one basic architecture. It is all exactly the same architecture as a PC today. Instead of fragmented architectures, where it's impossible for game developers to overinvest in any single platform, and they have to dedicate a lot of their engineering to porting games over and over again, now they have one single platform they can focus on, one single architecture, essentially, to focus on. As a result, the production value of games has gone up dramatically, and you can really see the difference. The games that we're seeing now, the technology is really quite spectacular. They're just so beautiful. Physically-based materials, photogrammetry, Using photogrammetry technology, they're able to essentially take photographs of the world, reconstruct it into 3D, and turn it into a video game. Atmospheric lighting, particle effects, incredibly large worlds, really, really rich geometry, ray trace shadows, soft shadows, high dynamic range lighting. The games are just so beautiful today. Let's take a look at some. So this is the first one. This is Tom Clancy's division from Ubisoft. I mean, you, I, you would think that you're walking downtown New York. Okay, maybe 10 years ago. It's cleaner now. The snow looks like snow. The snow falls like the snow would. The materials are physically based, and that's why they look so realistic. The animation is fantastic. The amount of geometry is just enormous. High dynamic range you would think you were looking at a photograph. And so imagine, imagine doing Project Ansel, NVIDIA Ansel on this, and you can capture all kinds of beautiful moments. Okay, let's take a look at another game. This is uh, Lara Croft. Lara to all of us. We know her by her first, first name. This is Tomb Raider. Physically based modeling of materials. The geometry is so rich based on photogrammetry, high dynamic range lighting, volumetric lighting. You can see the, the, the light pierced through the atmosphere. It's just really, really beautiful. Just the am amazing amounts of detail that we see in games today. Let's take a look at another one. This is Electronic Arts, Mirror's Edge. Look at, look at the way the reflection is working off of the floor. You can really sense sense the roughness on that floor and the polish, the, I guess the ripples and the polishness of that floor. They're everywhere these days. The lighting is just beautiful. The indirect lighting is amazing. Now you're outdoors, you got high dynamic range. The reflections in this game is particularly amazing. Real-time environmental reflection off of the water. and this is how they do it. Okay? That's terrific. Thank you. So, this, get, this just gives you a small taste of the amazing quality production value of games today. Everything you were looking at just now, video game, all of those games were fully maxed out in quality. Every single quality knob was maxed out. And every single game was running over 60 hertz all the time. And that's why it looks so beautiful. That's why it's so silky smooth. That's why it brings so much joy to all of us. <laughs> Just makes you smile. All of those games were running on the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080.
no sweat, nice and easy, everything silky smooth, all so buttery smooth, so beautiful, just makes you happy. It's hard not to be happy. It's hard not to smile when you look at that. It just brings me enormous amount of pride and joy. Look what my kid can do. <laughs> so effortlessly, just like that. Get it, Jensen. <laughs>